teachers, concerned about plagiarism from students using ChatGPT? Try this free anti-AI website to detect AI-generated content. In my last Tuesday Tech Tip, I showed you the wonders of ChatGPT, and a week later, and lots more testing, and it still amazes me. But as educators, not knowing if work submitted is authentic or AI-generated is going to be a massive headache for us. And even Turnitin isn't detecting some AI content right now. I lifted this info about Charlotte Bronte from Wikipedia, and I ran it through Turnitin, and it correctly identified the content as plagiarised. I then took that text and I pasted it into ChatGPT and asked it to rephrase it. And then I checked that rephrase text with Turnitin and it came back with a score of just 19, which is below our college's plagiarism threshold. So maybe the answer to identifying students passing AI work off as their own lies with AI itself. GPT-0 is an anti-plagiarism checker written by Edward Chan at Princeton University that fights fire with fire by fighting AI with yet more AI. The greatest professional athlete in the world today. Look at this. It's GTP Zero uses variables like perplexity and burstiness to check for the human touch. Basically, the randomness of text and structure to determine the likelihood that it's computer generated. Head over to GTP Zero and scroll down to the Try It button. Then paste your text into the box and hit Control and Enter to submit it for check-in. And just a few seconds later, and GPT Zero's analyzed the text and we can view the results. And you can see here that it's correctly identified the text as AI generated. As with all forms of cheating, when a safeguard like this has been put in place, it won't be long before people identify a workaround to avoid detection. But for now, GPT Zero is one form of defense against the dark arts of AI plagiarism. If this video was useful and you've got friends and colleagues who'd find it useful too, then please share the link with them. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And I'll see you again for another Tuesday Tech Tip.